We believe that the 20th century was about the development and the evolution of aviation, beginning in 1903 with Wright Brothers demonstrating heavier-than-air flight. The 21st century will be about the evolution and development of aerospace, and the two are converging as we speak. We've talked about it for many, many years, but we're at that cusp where we might be able to see commercial space become a reality. Houston is a great opportunity and great environment for that to happen. Not only are we located right near the Johnson Space Center, but Ellington Airport, the possibility of Ellington being an Ellington spaceport. What do you do with an airport like Ellington that has a general aviation military history for all its years, one of the oldest airports in, in the United States, but is basically a general aviation military? Until you look past the boundaries of the airport and you notice that you have agencies like NASA and Johnson Space Center, and you have companies like Boeing and Lockheed Martin, and you have Grumman, and you have a lot of other aviation or aerospace companies, and then you have the universities here. All these universities, each one of which has an aerospace component, and you look at Ellington, and only perhaps less than a third of it is actually occupied by general aviation and military. The rest is sitting there. And then the thought comes of the transition that is taking place in the United States from a federal space program to a commercial space program. We're in the infancy of a new industry. There was a report that valued the aerospace industry worldwide today at about $256 billion in 2010, and it's growing at about 5 to 8% compounded annually. Texas is open for business. Not only is housing affordable, but industry here is very accommodating to new businesses. Unlike any place else in the country, this environment is gauged around how to make a company successful, whether it be aerospace, energy, IT, or uh, life sciences. It really doesn't matter. All those come together in Houston. All of manned flights, every one of them, has been managed, has been controlled, has been guided from Houston. And so Houston is a natural in terms of continued space exploration, space development. Imagine in 1903, the Wright brothers first taking off in this aircraft with a little putt-putt motor in it, and the century ending with an aircraft like the Airbus A380 that can carry over 565 people to just about any point on the world in absolute luxury. Imagine where we will be at the end of this century. Space is the new ocean for the world. And today, what man is doing is dipping its toe into the near space, starting to understand how to live in this new vast ocean. And we are just learning how to do that. And we'll see terminals, not like terminals we have today, with decompression chambers and all kinds of centrifuges to train astronauts and train people that will be going into space. And so all of this, all of it, can take place within the infrastructure, the buildings, whether they're high bay hangars or their logistics centers or research and development laboratories or centrifuges or just space, education space, office space, all of which can be built in Ellington in a setting, in an environment that is conducive to thinking so that in the future, just as people today, when they think about computer chips and they think about applications, think about Silicon Valley, in the future when these people think about space, they'll think about Houston.